Texas and decided to become a librarian. <laughs> so I really like the choice of venue. Unfortunately, I'm not quite there yet. I'm, I'm in the sort of the I'm in the, the 45 degree slant from my old career, which was IT, into the new career being libraries. So my name is David Witteveen. I am the team leader of customer support for a company called OCLC. I have business cards if you want to <laughs> remember. What we do is we make software for libraries. We make library management software. And I'm going to very give a very short talk about a project we're doing in our customer support internationally at the moment, which is called Knowledge Centered Service. Has anyone heard of this? A couple of people. Cool. You probably know more about it than I do, because we are. This is a project we are right in the middle of at the moment. F the very quick summary of what I give uh, for Knowledge Centered Service is: it's turning support solutions into FAQs. So instead of writing, in it, when a customer sends in a message, a problem, we solve the problem, instead of just sending them the solution to one person, we put it on our help site as an FAQ. And that means, why do we do that? Two reasons. It means that customers can solve that problem themselves in the future. It also means that my support team, and I'm looking at Vanessa, who is one of my support team, um, we can go to the help site and find the solution to that problem ourselves. Because we are an international company, we have about 20 different offices, we can't just go and phone up the people in America and say, hey, you know that thing that happened last week that you solved, how did you do it? So what does that look like? What does KCS look like? I'm not going to give, there's like a whole diagram thing, it's, you know, anything which has a three-letter acro acronym has a diagram that goes with it. I don't have the diagram with me, but you can look it up, it's on Wikipedia. It's on, there's, there's YouTube videos, whatever. But very basically, a customer sends in a support request. My analysts then go, right, the first thing they do is check the help site. Is there already a solution for that problem? If there is, they send that solution to the customer. If there isn't, they solve the problem, they write the FAQ, and then they send the FAQ to the customer. And that's a very, that order there is very, very important. And I guess this is, this is something that's probably relevant to everyone here is writing documentation, particularly process documentation. Because the biggest problem we're finding in implementing this process is that people solve the problem, they send the solution to the customer, and then they say, oh, I'll write the FAQ later. And you all know what it's like. <laughs> you never get back to that, right? So the problem is... Um, yeah, people have this huge backlog of articles that they need to write. So I'm going to end my talk two minutes early. I'm going to end it with one piece of advice that we are learning now and that I'm actually taking outside of just the support but into our general principles, which is document the solution as you solve the problem. Write the documentation as it's happening and then you don't have to go back and write it later. <laughs>